up everybody and welcome to another Road to Red episode. I'm Anthony Saratelli of Jersey Filmmaker and today I'm switching up the scenery. I'm here in Brooklyn and have made friends with the good people at Able Cine and they're allowing me to use their facility to do some tests and shoot some episodes. So over the next few weeks you might see the same setting because I'm here today recording multiple episodes so that over the holidays I don't necessarily need to spend time doing so and I can spend time with the family so I'm recording again a few episodes in this setting. Since these are Road to Red episodes I'll obviously be involving the Red camera and the first First thing I want to go over is this setup. Last week I unboxed this bad boy so now I want to show you how it all comes together so I'm gonna head over to the rentals testing area to do so. So over there I had this massive O'Connor tripod head which looked like it could hold 5,000 pounds so there was definitely no need to worry about the strength of this thing holding up the camera. First things first we'll put the release plate onto the O'Connor head and then we'll take the inner release plate and attach it to the wooden camera 12 inch dovetail. Then we'll take the camera and put on another wooden product the Easy Riser which sets the camera at the industry standard height so that lenses and rail mounts and anything you want to put on here fits correctly. Next goes on the unified bridge plate which slides onto the dovetail and as you can see there's plenty of room for you to work with to balance balance the camera. On the back side, the base expander is already connected, so I'm now going to attach the V-Lock battery mount. After that's done, just slide on the battery and your power is ready to go. Next up is the OLED EVF. First you have to detach the EVF so you can attach the mount to the side of the camera, and then you stick the EVF on and screw tight this included fastener. Next is the wooden camera easy top. The reason I have this piece is because I didn't get the LCD that connects directly to the camera. So this piece has breakout adapters that allow me to attach Limo cables to get to my LCD monitor or extending my EVF off camera as well. Now I'll screw in this red 9 inch articulating arm which is really strong. I love this articulating arm. And then spin on the monitor, attach the Limo cable, and that's ready to go. I'll also put on this red top handle which has a trigger button included and allows me to easily move or pick up the camera. On the front right now I have a PL mount so we'll attach this Airy Ultra Prime courtesy of Ablecine which is making this look really really fancy. Next we'll slide in these 19 millimeter rods which are too big to support my matte box so I had to get a converter here. So we slide this converter on, the matte box slides right onto the two little 15 millimeter nubs, slide in my ND filter and voila, matte box. My Cam TV follow focus is also a 15 millimeter connection, so I had to get another adapter, but once I did, I attached the follow focus, and now I'm fully set up. That's it, the Red Weapon Helium 8K fully decked out, and it's looking gorgeous. So this is it, my setup to my liking. I'm really happy with all my purchases, especially when I take it off the tripod, I can go handheld with the top handle if I wanna get low shots. I have a side handle as well, which I didn't show, which I can get other handheld shots, and I also have a shoulder rig, which I've gone over in a previous episode if you want to check that out. So that's all I got. I want to again thank Ablecine for allowing me to shoot here, test here. They're really, really great people. They have a ton of equipment if you need to rent something. They're now located in Brooklyn. This new facility is beautiful. I suggest coming down here to check it out if you're in the area. They're top of the line. They know what they're doing here. Most people in the industry have definitely heard of them. If you haven't, please go check them out. I'll put a link to them in the description below. But as for this episode, if you liked it, please click the like button, subscribe, and hit that little bell. All of this really helps out to continue to build the channel. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below or contact me on any of my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Jersey Filmmaker. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you like my setup as much as I do, and I'll see you next time.